I know this microphone placement looks really weird right now and that's because I'm wearing a turtleneck but I will just go with it because it's really cold right now so I'm keeping this on. <laughs> Hey everyone, if you're new to my channel, my name is Megan. Welcome back for those who have been here before. In today's video, I am very excited to be sharing with you my new iPhone. I hope that this doesn't come across as bragging. That is not my intention at all, but I really am just super happy to finally be upgrading to the new iPhone 12 Pro. <laughs> But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I am gunning for 1,000 subscribers by the next month. And if you haven't joined the family yet, well, it's about time that you do. <laughs> and also, if you like videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button so that I know what types of videos you are into. Today's video, it is going to be an unboxing of this new iPhone, but however... But however... That's redundant. <laughs> however, I do want to put a little disclaimer out there as well that I am not a techie person. So this unboxing will be more for those who are non-techie and I will be sharing with you how I I guess I adapt to the new iPhone 12 Pro. A bit of background before we get into the nitty gritty of things. I have adapted the Apple lifestyle. So I actually do use a lot of Apple's products and I know it's an expensive lifestyle, but actually for me, it is quite reasonable because I do hold on to gadgets for quite a long time. And before this iPhone switch, I was actually using very, very old iPhone 7 Plus in the color silver. So this one, as you can see, the screen protector cracked, but underneath that is actually all fine. I wasn't actually planning on getting a new phone, but this one kind of gave up on me. And a random day, it just decided to shut down. And and I took it as a sign because I have been thinking about getting a new phone anyway, but just I, I'm i just not the type of person who switches phones every year or every two years. It's been a few years and I think I'm due for an upgrade, but I think it came to a point where I was like, I do want a new phone and I need a new phone. So finally yesterday, I decided to go to Optus and decided to get the iPhone 12 Pro. Just a few info about this one. I chose the iPhone 12 Pro because of the reviews that I've gotten from YouTube. I mostly rely on what others say about a product. Um, I was thinking between iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro only because I do like the sizes of both. I don't really want to go any bigger than this. This might be about the same size as the 7 or if not you know, slightly smaller or bigger. As well, I went for the gold version or the gold color and the 128 gigabytes. I think I'm quite good with 128 because that's also the old storage size that I had with my um, 7 Plus. Lastly, the reason why I chose this one was that based on the reviews, a lot of them were saying that if you do a lot of videos and photos, then definitely this is the phone to get. If you were thinking between iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. So if you were like me, you make content on YouTube or you even just appreciate nice Instagram fit photos, videos, you make TikTok um, videos, Instagram reels, things like that. This would be a handy phone to have because of its camera capabilities. Now let's just get to unboxing this one. Super excited because I've... <sighs> I've just really waited a long time for this. Definitely expect more content on my channel. Just a quick side note, I'm also uploading weekly now. So every Thursday, 6 p.m. Manila time and Brisbane time, 8 p.m. Or let me know where you are and I'll figure it out for you. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for all the videos that I have coming up. So I think it's about time. Let's do it. So this is the box that it comes in. It says iPhone there. And we take it out of the box. The plastic. <gasps> it's here. It's finally here. Very exciting times. I'm lifting it up now. <gasps> oh my goodness. I think it is really pretty. It looks like a bit more of a white gold 
which is gorgeous. Um, this is more my style and I can use different phone cases to dress this up, the back and yeah, so it has that three camera um, feature that makes um, the photos and videos much better and even night photography and night I think night videography as well. So it comes with this um, paper cover thing. It's no longer plastic like the previous ones. On the sides, guides on what the buttons on the side do. So I guess this is pretty useful if you're new to iPhone that you would then know what these buttons do. So the top is the mute um, toggle button thing. These ones are obviously... Um, the volume and the power switch or the lock switch as well on the side. The thing with this one is that it does come with a different charging cable. It still has that lightning cable. However, the other end of it is this, I'm not really sure what it's called, I'm so sorry, but this one, which isn't very handy if you don't have the charging brick for this. So this release by Apple does not include the charging brick anymore, which is kind of annoying because I think they only introduced this one um, when they released the iPhone 11. So actually, if you didn't get that phone, you, then you wouldn't really have the charging brick. I think that's really just Apple trying to get people to buy more stuff, which is quite annoying. First things first, the packaging, it was plastic. So I don't know, some people were saying that Apple is doing this because they're trying to be a bit more, um, more on the sustainable packaging side and that's why they've reduced like the charging brick and such but for me it's not handy so i'm probably going to be getting the charging brick at some point but i think the old cable with the usb um and would still work aside from that cable we also have this designed by apple in california so this is just the info pack so it has your um the sim card ejector the information as well as an apple sticker this is quite funny because i don't think i've ever actually used the apple sticker on any thing actually those are the only things that are in there yeah i believe so there's not not nothing else underneath this but look at that <laughs> look at how different they are in terms of the size Size, it is only slightly smaller than the iPhone 7 Plus, which is great because this would be the maximum size that I would go for. I'm not sure how much bigger the, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I don't know how much bigger that is, but this would be the maximum I would go for just because of like, I'm still able to get my fingers around this one. And I think if it was much bigger, it would just be ridiculous trying to, even with this one, trying to reach the top and the bottom. And then you can see the camera very old one and this one's the silver and this one's the gold for comparison if you have an iphone 7 plus yeah so fortunately before my iphone 7 plus broke down i was able to back it up using itunes on my laptop so i'm just gonna try and figure out if i can um sync that back up into this phone and pretty much just set up the entire phone a little fyi i also actually ordered a phone case and a screen protector off of Amazon. I will link them in the description box below. Let's try and switch it on. I might just switch my SIM card into this one so that I could get this going. All right, about time that um, we take out the SIM card out of this one. Maybe I'll switch it off first. Am I being silly? What? Where is it? Tell me. Where am I meant to put this through? Many, many minutes later. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh my goodness. Why did I not see that? I'm just not used to it because on this phone, it's actually quite high. FYI, you guys, it's here. It didn't say on that paper, that's why I was confused. Look at that, I'm putting like fingerprints all over it already. Sorry, a bit gross. And I'll put that in. Why am I messing this up so much so excited so nervous just a wave of emotions about this new iphone <sighs> there it is let's get like let's wipe that hello welcome i have my laptop just on the side over here i i have like a tutorial on how to transfer your backup to your new device from the apple website that i will be following so with this i will be using the old iphone cable that i have to connect it with the laptop 
So I'm now opening the iPhone, iPhones, <laughs> iTunes folder. Gosh, English, my country is Australia. Our Wi-Fi is called Land Solo, FYI. <laughs> Okay, so we go through this entire thing and now I just need to set up my face ID. Okay, so I've already done the face ID and now it is on this page which says apps and data. It says choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this phone and I might just do this one, restore from Mac or PC. So I'm gonna try and do that with this cable and see if that works. All right, so it says now connected to the computer. All right, so just don't mind the mess in the background just because I wasn't really planning on doing it like this. So now the laptop is actually saying, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says, welcome to your new iPhone. Um, it's asking me if I want to set up a new iPhone or restore from this backup and continue. Uh, the usual stuff that we go through. Now it says restoring iPhone from backup. Um, and this might take a while. Okay, so unfortunately I can't figure out right now how to um, restore the old backup because it was asking me for a password for this encrypted backup. Tried to do some Google searching, but I think it'll take me some time to figure that out. So in the meantime, I'm just going to restore from an iCloud um, backup. Honestly, I don't think there would be a lot to be restored at this point just because I don't really get iCloud storage like on top of the free. One code has been sent to my iPad. Gosh, okay, now I need to get that one. Okay, so now I have my super old iPad with me and it's just asking me to allow. So as you can tell, I really am in the Apple space and can't get out of it anymore at this point. Awesome, amazing. Now I need to choose the backup. Here we go, latest iPhone backup, this one. We got it. I'll set up Apple Pay later. Okay, so now it's restoring from the iCloud. Thank goodness. I was trying an iTunes backup, but it wasn't working. But I guess if that's not working and you have an iCloud um, backup, it's worth checking that out. So this might take a while and I will check in with you guys again once this is all done and sorted. All right, you guys. Now it says restore is completed. So we click continue. So it says swipe up to get started. <gasps> There it is, oh my goodness. <laughs> so funny, my background is um, John, my partner, as a baby. Pretty much like transferred all of my apps before, including ones that I have uninstalled. So that's just gonna take a while because I have definitely downloaded app hundreds and hundreds of apps that I use. Um, I can see my iMovie is still here, you know, my usuals, um, my TikTok, uh, what else? YouTube, Shazam, Stan, all my shopping stuff. So I believe with this one as well, you can kind of um, set up widgets here and which is quite nice and handy. I didn't used to have widgets for my iPhone 7 Plus. But yeah, I guess we could try the camera because that's what I'm most excited about. So it means if I tap and hold, it just takes a video, it's like Instagram. And then it says, tap and drag to the left for shutter. Oh wait, okay, so you don't hold. And I can hear that it's creating all of those photos. So like, now I have hundreds of photos of this random thing. And what I did enjoy about this is that the zoom is quite clear. It's so clear, like could zoom into the fibers of this jacket. Bonk. Yeah. And yeah, you have this kind of a bit more wider angle. And I think this is actually quite handy if you want to take Instagram photos of your outfits and you want to look like a bit taller. Maybe we zoom into my face. Hi everyone, there we go. I'm really just happy to have this phone because I was using my iPhone quite a lot um, when I was vlogging outside and now I can use it again. So exciting. I'm really happy that I chose this iPhone 12 Pro. I think it is the phone for me. So it also if, um, gives you different lighting. Ooh. Stage lighting, I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna continue talking like this with this phone facing me, so it's quite funny. But I hope that you guys found that bit of information about how I was able to sync this dead iPhone 7 Plus 
um, backup into my new phone. And now that I was able to restore all of my apps um, that I had before, I'm not sure about the photos and videos though, that, but I will put an update over the video if I was able to. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and I guess a little walkthrough as well on how I was able to restore backup. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any questions or maybe video suggestions that you would like for me to do, then definitely leave that in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button if you aren't part of the family yet. We are trying to reach 1000 subscribers by next month. Just a reminder, I am uploading every Thursday, um, 6 p.m. Manila time and 8 p.m. Brisbane time. So work out the times or leave a comment below and I'd be ha I would be happy to just convert the time zones for you. <laughs> Again, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!